Hello everyone. Welcome to this episode of Batch Scripting with Mac OS and Unix. In this episode, we are going to see how to create a switch case statement. So earlier we had used if, if else, nested if and if elif for checking and displaying the messages. Now we are going to use the switch statement. In case you have worked with C, C++ and Java, then you must be familiar with this switch. So basically we have a variable and then we actually forward that variable to the switch case and we check actually various cases or various possibilities and then we take actions accordingly. So it is very easy in bash scripting also. So I already have created a file prog 09.sh. So it's a new file and I have already copied three lines of code from our previous projects. Hash exclamation mark bin bash echo. Please enter an integer read a. Case dollar a in 10 echo 10. Fine, right? So if a equals to 10, then echo 10, simple string 10, okay? Similarly, we can write case for, so this is actually a single case, this much. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it. So it's actually kind of weird to use copy paste with Mac. I'm actually doing it very first time, 20. And similarly, we will paste it for 100. Since it's a string, I will earlier are also strings, but okay, they were actually single words. So that's why I didn't use quotes. And now let's actually handle the default case. So let's paste it here like this. For default case, we have to use star. So this is the default case. And finally, we close the switch case thing with ESAC. And let us go ahead and save this file. So this is our complete code. Let's review it once before executing it and figure out if there is any syntax error. So case dollar a in 10, 20, 100 and default case. So let us go ahead and go to the I term. Let us check the present working directory. I guess we have to switch to the right directory cd documents, cd Ashwin data, cd practice, clear, ls. So here we have prog09.sh and let us say chmod 744 star dot sh and prog09.sh enter. So this is 10. This is for 20, this is for 100 and let's actually check for other things, default case. Okay, so this is how we can use switch case with bash and we can write scripts. So I hope that you have understood the concept very well. Thanks a lot for watching this episode. Do let me know if you have any questions, queries or any problems with this code and whatever explanation I have provided. Do let me know all these things in the comment section. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot and I will see you next time.